so we have already discussed the topic of aggregation and now I would like to teach you something about combining aggregation and filtering so I open the shell here and as usual I already prepared the comments to populate our database so here we have three subjects with different difficulty and three teachers and we have two students by the name John and then student name Mary and student name Sam so let's import the stuff that we need functions average minimum maximum and count and queue for more complex lookups and so we can actually uh, make the first combination of filtering and aggregation the easiest uh, one where we just for example have first filtering for example we filter by the name that starts with Joe and then after filtering we can actually add some annotation for example number of teachers that each student whose name starts with Joe actually has and for that we use num teachers count teachers are not annotation but annotate so when we get this uh, when we call this uh, query set we can see that we have students whose names start with Joe and also each of the students has numbers of teacher or number of teachers attribute and so we can also filter and then not annotate but for example aggregate for example uh, we can try to see the average age of the students uh, whose name starts with Joe and it will be 24.3 but uh, this is the most simple way to combine filtering and aggregation it's when we filter first and then uh, just aggregate the result that we got from filtering for example we first can get a uh, number of teachers right so here we first filter it the students and then we annotate each uh, for each student we annotate the number of teachers this student has so we can go other way around so we can for example so for each student we can annotate the number of teachers this student has count teachers and then after we do that uh, every student is in this query set uh, will have an attribute number teachers and then we can actually use this uh, use this new annotation in order to filter by that so we can actually filter by number of teachers for example greater or equal to two and now we have all the students who has more or uh, equal number of uh, teachers to two we can see john john and mary here uh, it is because we skip Sam actually his name is Jonas but okay so we skip this uh, object because it has only one teacher 
but all other objects has two, three, and three teachers. So as you can see, uh, first we annotated the each object with the number of teachers, and then we actually filter it by this uh, new attribute that we provided for each object. And we can also actually combine annotation and aggregation. So for example, we can annotate the number of teachers and then we can actually aggregate uh, average number of teachers. And here, uh, as you can see, we added this attribute to each object where we counted the teachers of every student. And then after that, we can actually aggregate by this uh, value. There is more complicated stuff that we can do. So we can add filtering directly to annotations, meaning that for so for example, here let's say here we have this annotation where for each student we annotate the number of teachers that uh, actually it's going to be uh, number of subjects number of subjects that each student has but sometimes we want to have more difficult stuff here for annotation uh, instead of just counting so we can not only count subjects but we can count specific subjects for example, here we have in our model uh, for subject, we have a field difficulty and we have provided three different subjects with difficulty one, two and three. And what we can do, for example, we can try to find for each student the number of subjects which difficulty is more or equal is greater or equal to two so for that we write for example difficult subjects and here where uh, when we count subjects we can actually add the filter to this specific function and we do it like this filter equals q and here we actually provide uh, our filtering option and in our case we need to find the count of subjects uh, where the difficulty of subject is greater or equal to two and for that we write subjects Two underscores right because uh, first we write actually the name uh, of our of our student uh, model uh, the field subjects and then we actually write the field inside the subject inside the uh, particular subject the field that we need to actually filter by so it's difficulty and then we write greater or equal to two. It's without these guys. So once again, uh, here we have annotation for each student, annotation difficult subjects where we count subjects where subjects difficulty is greater than or equal to two. And here again for each student, for example, let's let's uh, have the first student whose name is John. Uh, 
and we can see that John has only one subject, which is subject one, and difficulty here is one. So he has not, uh, uh, he doesn't have subjects with difficulty uh, greater or equal to two. But, and the same goes for the second John, but for example, Mary would have one subject with difficulty uh, two, and Sam would have subject two and subject three. Uh, so, so second John should have zero, Mary should have one, and Sam should have two difficult subjects. So apart from that, we can also add some other stuff like ordering. So for example, we can order by difficult subjects, order by So here is zero, zero, one, two. And we can actually go in the descent order. And get, in this case, it's two, one, zero, zero, where we order by difficult subjects. And apart from that, we can also, for example, uh, first, Uh, group the objects by, for example, name. So here we can see that we have two names, John, and we can actually first uh, group objects by, for example, name and then, for example, annotate for each group average uh, subject difficulty, for example, equals average subjects difficulty. And in this case, again, we first group our objects by field, for example, name, and then for each name, for example, we have two Johns, and average subject difficulty for name John is one, Jonas two, Mary one half. And basically, uh, that is all that I wanted to show you about combining filters and aggregation.